Hi, welcome back. Um, you've joined us uh, at a point where we're going to start putting in some more divs. Um, I want to show you in this video how to put in a navigation bar um, along the top of your site. And I'm getting a bit more confident at making these videos now, so hopefully they'll be a, a little easier to follow. Um, the more I make, I think they're, they're becoming slightly more coherent. So um, anyway, joining us at a time when we're putting in uh, a new size for the wrapper. Now, if you remember, the uh, wrapper uh, contains everything inside your site. So um, any text or images, they should all be sitting inside this wrapper div. Um, and previously, we set the width of the div uh, to 900 pixels. And I just wanted to show you, um, sometimes people or designers like to set uh, set things to a percentage instead okay and this is where the option is uh, to choose between you know pixels or if you're working in any other measurements or percentage which is what I'm thinking about here and I'm gonna say 75% um, that's the width of my wrapper that's the width uh, really of the main body of my site um, and I'm gonna ignore the float this time I'm actually uh, gonna change the margins here um, and I'm going to change them to auto. I'm going to put here auto and left auto. So my idea is to have uh, this wrapper go 75% of the way across the screen and kind of float in the middle um, with an equal margin either side. Um, you can also set the background here uh, for your wrapper, but I I'm just going to leave it. Um, just leave it as it is for the moment. Press apply and press OK. And press OK. Okay, content for your wrapper goes here. Um, I'm going to tab down a few times so you can see the width doesn't change, um, but the height changes up and down, which is really good for us putting in content that you can view by scrolling down on the website page. Okay, um, we are missing a heading, uh, so again, I'm going to maybe put a heading div across the top there, so I'm going to go to my div icon, and I'm going to call this one heading, new CSS rule, and I'm going to apply it to my style.css file, press OK. Okay, and um, this time uh, I think I'm going to insert an image uh, as well as a colour for my background. So let's go for a grey and background image, browse. And I'm going to find an image that I put in my images folder earlier. So if I go onto my website and look in my images folder, I've got a logo that I saved in here earlier. I'm going to choose this and you've got some options here to repeat it um, where you would like it positioned um, let's say uh, on the right and I'm going to press apply oh just going to go to the box option here and check that I have set the, the width of my header and I'm just thinking how wide I would like this to be um, I'm going to go for a value again percentage um, let's say 75 again okay. and I'm going to press apply and OK and OK OK um, so let's have a look and see what that looks like save changes save that it's going to be our index have a look so this should automatically load okay now you see my logo it actually doesn't look like um, how I have planned it um, so I need to play around with the positioning and the size um, to get this right so let's go back onto Dreamweaver and I want to find that heading div so I've just double clicked the style opened up 
the heading folder by double clicking this and I'm going to go to that background so I've got the colour background position right just working out why it has repeated all across the page let's have a think why has it done that ah, I need to set it to no repeat ok, let's try this again Apply. OK. OK. Let's see what this one looks like. Much better. OK. Um, but you can see it's actually cut off the top and the bottom there. I just need to tab down a couple of times to make sure that this div enlarges itself. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to tab down a couple of times. And you'll see that was the actual logo that I had planned. Um, Anything else I want to change about this? Well, actually, yeah, I want it to float in the middle. Um, so I'm going to go back into here. And I'm going to have a look and see what I can change um, to make sure that this floats in the middle. Where it says margin, I'm going to try in here. Unclick, same for all. Let's go for auto. And auto again. Let's see if it will align it this time, make it go in the middle much better. Let's just preview this quickly. Save. Much better. Okay, so you see my uh, box is floating more towards the middle. Okay, uh, I'm going to close this. Okay, and maybe I want to delete some of these parts here. Get rid of this. Okay, right, um, underneath here, uh, I want to put in some of these uh, tabs so that people can access the different areas of the site, and I will show you this in the next video, uh, putting in a navigation bar.